Welcome to Racketology! Man, it's been a heck of a long week. Has it not? I cannot believe how long of a week it's been. <laughs> Welcome back to Recordology, you guys. And this weekend, it just went so fast. I can't believe we're looking at Monday already. Okay, this is going to be a super fun show. This is somewhat interactive. So I want you guys to uh, watch this and then let me know down in the comments below where I got this wrong. Let me know your opinion, uh, what you think. So we're going to look at five record gadgets. They're accessories, you could say. But what sets these apart is they're... they're extra. They're not things that you have to have. They are things that go above and beyond or help things in a, make them easier for you or whatnot. They're not core required things that you need to enjoy records. They're not your basic accessories. So we're going to talk about each one. I'm not going to do a full review of each product. I'm just going to talk about my opinion and then we're going to rank them. Number one being the best, highest recommended, most necessary item and all the way to five, which will be the least. So again, these are all things that aren't your day, daily, you know, normal, you know, accessories that you would see. Oops, and there's a sneak peek down at the bottom right hand. Can't see that yet, can't see that yet. All right, the first thing I'm gonna talk about are these guys. These are Record Mitts. They're by Hudson Hi-Fi. And this was interesting. When I first learned about these, I was like, what, what on earth? You know, what the heck is this? It's kind of an interesting idea. It's like soft on the inside and it's like a kind of a paper sort of clamshell deal. It's pretty simple. It's like, you know, card stock on one side and a super soft lining on the inside. And the idea is you can literally grasp a record without, you know, damaging it. So, you know, you, you've been told so many times, don't grab the record like this. Don't touch the playing surface. Well, with this, you know, it makes it safe and easy to do so. And if you are putting a record on a record player, you know, so this would apply more to like a large one, but you could, you know, put it on like that and it would be easier and you could, you know, grasp the record the way you've been told not to do it. So it's an interesting invention. It's very simple. And I wasn't sure, you know, how often I would really use this. And I don't use it on the daily. I do not use it on the daily. I don't find myself saying, where's my record mitt? I've gotten pretty good about, you know, holding the record by the edge. And, uh, but one day I came across a project that made this super, super useful. And uh, I really realized how it would impact people. And that was, I was doing a massive project of moving my records into external sleeves and placing those sleeves outside of the record covers. And so I was pulling records in and out, in and out a lot. And this came in really, really handy, especially because with this, you can sort of go in, you know, semi-surgically into the edge of a, into a record uh, cover without having to, uh, you know, pull it out with your bare fingers. So this was very helpful in that regard. And yeah, so we're going to put this at number one just because we don't have anything else at number one, but we're going to look at a few different things here. Next up is Groove Goo by Crosley. There's other brands. Oh, by the way, I want to tell you the prices as we go. So the mitts, you get a three pack for $10.50. If you want any of this stuff, I'll put links in the description below. Uh, but this is uh, Groove Goo. It's been sold by other companies. This is the Crosley version. They might be um, either low stock or you know moving on because when I was on Amazon, I noticed that it was like, you know, click here to buy through other sellers or whatnot, but then it looked like it was through Crosley. So I don't know, not 100% sure, but this is a 1985. So uh, about 20 bucks and it's literally just a jar of this, you know, globulous mass that smells fresh and clean. This one's very used, not very used, but you can see some gunk in there. And the idea is that you roll this around on your record to mop up, you know, surface dust. And it does a decent job of that. It's damp, so it leaves kind of like a wet mark wherever you've touched it to your record that evaporates pretty quickly. But I've actually learned to really appreciate this more as something to sponge up dust from crevices, cassette players and electronics when I'm cleaning out or cleaning up old electronics. This is really good for that. And it's a, you know, it is a finite 
you know, this is this is a consumable item. So eventually it's going to, you know, get enough stuff in there that you're going to toss it and get another one. But I've had this for over a year, I think, and it's, you know, still working perfectly. So how would I rank that between the mitt? I would say it's, a, I would say this is one above the mitt for me for right now, just because I do use it more often. So we'll go ahead and say that that's the ranking at this point. Again, that may change, but that's how I'm feeling about things. Next up is the record roller. Now this I was super excited about. It's got a little clamshell deal. It's a uh, sold by different brands. This one's a Crosley one and it's $4.95. And basically it's a sticky roller that you roll on your records to mop up dust. And it works brilliantly. The first time you try this thing, it's like instant perfection on the record. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal how well it works. And then what happens is over time is this roller loses its stickiness to the point now where this isn't even slightly sticky. In fact, I need to toss this because it's going to be a consumable item. I wish it was kind of like a lint roller that you could like peel off a layer or maybe get a few extra rolls to put on there. But, you know, this handle, everything is very well designed. It's very rugged. It feels high quality, but the stickiness just doesn't last. And you can rinse it under warm water to revitalize it a little bit. But, you know, I was kind of bummed that it wore out as fast as it did. You're also not supposed to expose it to sunlight, which I thought was odd. So I'm going to put that in last place right now. I still think it's a cool idea. I think it needs to be worked on a little bit. That's my opinion. Next up is this. And no, that is not a scale. That is not a scale. By the way, I want to mention really quickly, as an honorable mention, I, mean, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I thought about the products I wanted to show on this. And th this uh, stylus cleaner came up when I was thinking about the roller. It's the same basic idea. There's different brands of this. And it's like sticky gel. This one's still sticky. And you dip your stylus on there and it basically sucks off all of the stuff. It loses its stickiness over time. As you can see, there's a lot of gunk on there kind of find a clean open spot to do it next time you want to clean a, your stylus. It works very effectively and so far this is still sticky. So this is a little bit more mainstream. This isn't, you know, you've seen these around. I would recommend those. Those are really, really nice. Although my preferred method for cleaning a stylus is actually this. This is what I use on the daily. And if you look up close, there's all kinds of floaties and, and gross things in there. It's literally like uh, a makeup brush and you just wipe the uh, stylus ever so gently and it's anti-static fluid and it works really good. But I digress. That's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the strange and unusual. And this is definitely in that category. This is a brand new product from Hudson Hi-Fi. If you wanna see my video on this, you've gotta go over to, it's either their YouTube page or their Amazon page. I'm not sure where they're gonna post it or where they have posted it. But this is an interesting, interesting product. It looks like a scale and it is not a scale. It is actually a UV ultrasonic stylus cleaner. So up here, instead of just a flat pad, that's actually a brush. That's actually tightly packed fibers. And then over here, that is the lens of a light. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It runs off of two AA batteries, which you can see are in there. And again, the form factor I had to do a double take when I first saw it because it really looks like a scale, but it's not. You put your stylus on. Well, actually, the first thing you do is you take uh, the cleaner. You put a drop. It's a very thick cleaner, and the, and the drop really sits up right on top of there. It doesn't absorb right down in. And then you gently place your stylus onto that brush and then press this button. And it vibrates at a very high frequency. That's the ultrasonic cleaning. And then there's a UV light. I'm not going to shine it right at you, but that lens shines an ultraviolet light. So you literally are sterilizing your needle and cleaning it as well, getting all the gunk off of there. I think this is pretty cool. This is pretty neat. Now, in the heat of battle, it takes a hot minute to find it, to set it up, to use it. And uh, for that, it maybe loses a couple of points. The actual design, execution, the idea, the effectiveness of it is excellent. So I am going to put it in number two. So I'm going to bump that to three, this or this to four, this to three, and I'm going to place that at number two at this time. Now, we're going to revisit this and make sure that we agree on the ranking here in a second. I want to do a once, once over and make sure that this is really what I think it should be. Now, finally, this is the grand finale here. This bizarre thing, and it's not a device. 
it's not a device because it's not complicated enough to be a device. I've had this now for a long time, several months, and it's expensive. By the way, um, that ultrasonic cleaner is $29, $29, which I think that's, you know, that's not too terribly expensive. This, on the other hand, is try $325. That's right, it's $325. Now, when you find out what it is, you might scream even a little bit louder. But this thing is a talisman. This is an audiophile product, which is probably why you may think this is odd that I have this. So what the heck is it? Let's open this up. This is the instruction sheet. Walker Audio, well-respected organization. Audiophiles swear by this product. A lot of them do. Not everybody, but a lot of audiophiles swear by this. And I want to preface what I'm going to say as this is my experience, as is the case with everything. But I want to make it very clear with this. This is my personal experience, my personal, you know, interaction with this thing and what I've experienced. And you know that I'm not a high-end audiophile person. This show is about entry level, about affordable. My highest end turntable is $800. I'm oftentimes listening on a $200 turntable and I don't have a problem at all with people that listen on a $30 turntable. So perhaps I'm just not the right audience for this. Maybe I don't have the right equipment, but you know, this is tailored to the people that are spending $100,000 on cabling, that prefer to listen to records in the evening when the power is cleaner, people that, you know, have separate preamps for left channel and right channel, people that have a TV stand with a turntable on it and, you know, quarter of a million dollar speakers instead of a television, but I digress. So this may just be, you know, a, you know, a Mercedes part in the, in the Yugo shop and us not knowing what to do with it. But basically what it is, is it's a magnet. It literally is a really beefy, very powerful magnet with a very good looking sticker on it by Walker Audio. It's got a felt sort of deal here. It's got very par powerful magnets arranged in a very particular pattern and it's heavy as you would imagine. And the idea is that you demagnetize your media and cabling. You can do your cabling as well. But the main point is that you demagnetize your media before you play it and they say that you're gonna get all sorts of benefits for demonstration purposes only, I'm using this record, but the essence of it is, is you hover it over the record about a half inch to three quarters of an inch and kind of go in this oval pattern for about 10 seconds. And you will supposedly notice a drastic improvement. A lot of you may be saying, what are you talking about? A record has no magnetic properties. Well, true and false. The vinyl does not, but the carbon black they dye records black with actually does have very minor electrical properties to it or magnetic properties, excuse me. But they also go on to say that you can use this and should use this to improve the quality of your compact discs, DVDs, SACDs, Blu-rays, etc., etc. As you know, those are all optical media. Nothing touches it. Possibly there's an electrical, you know, magnetic charge that builds up in there and could affect things. I'm not saying no, and I'm not denying that it works. A lot of people swear by it, but this is about my experience. And for me, I'm placing it at number five. I don't even need to think about it because I played with this thing for a long time and I could not elicit any noticeable difference. You start hearing stuff and phantom sounds. It's like, am I, did I really hear an improvement or am I just imagining it? It's really hard to put my finger on it and say, you know, Yes, I heard a difference. It's so, so minimal to my ears if it made any difference. I don't think it made any difference. And again, that's on my level of equipment. So perhaps I'm just not even in the ballpark of equipment that you could elicit an improvement with this thing. It's not a device, this thing. It's a lot of money. So my thought is it's an, an audiophile targeted product, which is fine to each his own. I personally would not recommend investing in this. And I talked to others that we're also evaluating this at the same time and we all came to a unanimous agreement that we couldn't hear a difference. So let's look at the final ranking here. I have Groove Goo as number one. I have the ultrasonic, ultraviolet cleaner at number two, the mitt at number three, the roller at number four, 
And number five is the talisman. It's tough. My, I'm pretty confident on the first three. I think that's good ranking. But this, I'm not 100% sure on. I don't, yeah, yeah. That's, that, for me, that was a no-go. The only reason why I wavered is that perhaps it would work for other folks in other situations. But this is about my experience. This was more effective, even though it worked for a short period of time because, you know, it was sticky for a while. And I elicited an improvement from it. So yes, $5 in this case beats $325. All right, let me know down in the comments below how wrong I am. Any other interesting gadgets you've seen? Perhaps we'll review more on this show in the future. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.